Welcome back to the DX Engineering channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. Many of us would love to have a tower, but not everyone has room, finances, or spousal approval to put one up. If you find yourself in one of these predicaments, a roof tower might be your answer. DX Engineering carries four roof towers from Carlson Communications that range from 50 to 95 inches tall. They're ideal for setting up a small EME array, satellite antennas, an HF beam, VHF and UHF antennas, television antennas, or even a Starlink dish. Made in America, these towers are perfect for someone who has limited space or someone who wants a second or even third tower. Here are some of the features of the Carlson roof towers. Depending on the model, these towers will handle 12 to 15 square feet of wind load. Each tower is constructed using 3 16 6061T6 aluminum angle, while the cross braces are made from 5052H32 aluminum. Each piece is laser cut for precise alignment, making assembly quick and easy. The feet on these towers swivel and will work on any sloped roof. The rotor mount is drilled for Yesu rotors and high gain ham series rotors. These towers can handle up to two and a half inch masts. And the tower can be tilted, making antenna maintenance easy. Each tower is designed to work with the Yesu GS065 thrust bearing and for non-rotating antennas, you can use the Yesu GC038 in place of the rotor. These towers are also climbable with the proper harness. To get started, download the manual from either the DX Engineering or the Carlson website. I'll put links in the description below. There are a few things to note prior to assembling this tower. First, the hardware is stainless steel. Since stainless steel is prone to galling, we recommend that you use anisease compounds such as JetLube SS30. As you assemble the tower, leaving the hardware slightly loose is a good idea. This will make the assembly easier. After you've finished putting the tower together, you can come back and finish tightening everything up. Also, avoid using a power driver to tighten the hardware. Even with anti-seize, you can still cause the hardware to gall. Assembly starts by attaching the Yesu GS65 thrust bearing to the four top angle brackets. Next, attach two of the legs to the top bracket. Make sure that you have the legs oriented so that the top hole is 24.4 inches from the next hole down on the leg. Now, assemble the first set of cross braces along with the bottom shelf bracket. Assemble the next set of cross braces along with the bottom shelf bracket by attaching them to the existing tower legs and then attach the third tower leg. Rinse and repeat with the third set of cross braces and the bottom shelf bracket and then attach the final tower leg. Now attach the final set of cross braces and the bottom shelf bracket. Next, attach two braces from the rotor shelf. Make sure that you select the proper hole spacing for either Yesu or high gain rotors. To wrap up the assembly, attach each of the feet to the tower legs and finish tightening each bolt. Once this is complete, the tower is ready for the rotor and the mast. I found the process of assembling the tower very straightforward. Every hole lined up perfectly and the hardware fit easily. Prior to installing the tower on your roof, you may need to add bracing in your attic. More information is available on the Carlson website. Now there are several benefits to having a roof tower. Number one, they're significantly less expensive than a conventional tower. Also, roof towers can save space, especially if you don't have room for that conventional tower. And lastly, there's also the benefit of leveraging the height of your roof to get your antenna in the air. These towers are robust and durable and adaptable to many different antennas, including hex beams, HF, VHF, and UHF Yaggies, as well as satellite antennas. And adding a tower is a great way to enhance your enjoyment of the hobby. Thanks for watching today. I'm Michael, KI8R. We'll catch you on the next one.